Hey guys, it's G, welcome back to another video. So, as you're watching this, I would have just come back from holiday, but if you are wondering why there hasn't been a video for probably about two weeks, it's because I kind of took a little bit of a break. I wanted to take a holiday where I wasn't uploading videos, just make the most of a holiday. I've had a bit of a busy week and 2020 has already been very busy, so I've decided to take like two weeks off and basically not upload so I hope you didn't mind so hey guys I'm back I'm back to my normal uploading schedule it's been a bit mad but yeah I've just been wanting to take a little bit of a break now um July has been a bit of a well it was, <laughs> July was good and then something happened basically it's been a bit of a rocky road so yeah I've had a bit of a mental health like break I guess it's been quite good for my mental health it's good to be back back filming for a video and today I'm bringing you a hook no not <laughs> today I'm going to be doing almost like a monthly roundup of all the things that I've been loving in the month of July before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and again I'm going to say this again if you can please watch all the ads because it really helps YouTube recognize that you're watching my video and it basically recommends it to other people and also it helps them to get into subscription boxes. Um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. Alright, so I'm going to start off with some of my, to be fair, most of it's beauty, but um, I'm going to start off with a few makeup products first. Now, the first thing that I've been loving is a brow pencil. Now, I don't normally fill in my brows. I use the Got To Be Glued Hair Gel and it's spiking glue. I basically use that on my brow. But recently I've been really liking filling them in quite lightly, not too heavy, but just so they don't look so sparse and too light if you get me. So this is the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Brunette, but it's still really, really light, which is perfect because I don't like dark brows with me, especially with my dark hair. But it's a really tiny little thin pencil and the nib of it as well, like the actual pencil inside is super tiny and it's just so easy to fill in my brows. I use the spiking glue first, I then use concealer under my brow and then I just go in with this and fill in any little gaps at the bottom. I just basically give it a little bit more thickness. Nice. Um, and this has been something that I've been loving because it's not too dark and harsh as well. And then the other side, it's got a little spoolie, which I also love. And I never thought I would ever really use a brow pencil again, but I definitely have been loving it. And I know this is um, definitely the pricier side and you can get ones a bit cheaper than this. But this for me has been something I've been loving and I've not basically put this down all month. Next up is this. Now this is the Benefit Hello Happy air stick foundation and now these were launched i think these got launched in like i can't remember wait is this what i showed you i think these were launched two months ago now and i've been loving them ever since they launched i have the shade three five and six this is the shade five now this is the one that i've got on now because i'm actually like i've got a lot of fake tan on right now so i've had to use a darker shade but these are so good i've actually not seen anyone talk about this foundation but it's incredible you basically like obviously you twist it up and then you just apply it where you want to and it out with a brush or a beauty blender this is amazing for on the go travel basically my jaw will like eat up foundation i don't know if that's a thing but i can actually just pop this on the areas where i need a little bit more coverage or i need a top up it says it in the name air stick foundation lightweight but it's got good coverage like it's not like a stick foundation with no coverage it's got coverage but it's controlling like you can control the amount you put on so i don't put that much on but it covers my freckles but without it looking too thick and cakey i love it it's amazing i feel like more ne more people need to hype this up because this is so good i feel like i can't believe i've not seen anyone talk about this because this really is a little gem i love it how can I forget NARS? Like, how is this going to be a favourite video without including NARS? You know how much I love NARS in general. Then, if you haven't seen my full face of NARS, I think that's where my addiction went even more stronger. Now, I did a full face of NARS and 
become more obsessed than I've ever been. Now these are like three products that I've been non-stop using. I'm gonna say the bronzer, but I'm currently using the bronzer for my camera right now to give it a bit of height. But the Laguna bronzer is incredible. I feel like everybody knows that. But this mascara is really good as well. This is the NARS Climax mascara. I'm obsessed with the colour, with the shape, with how cool it looks. It feels amazing and I know this sounds really weird, but Feeling a mascara is not something you're going to do, it just sounds a bit odd, but the feeling of the packaging is beautiful, it just, I don't know, it just feels really comfortable to hold, I love applying with it, I love the brush as well, it makes my bottom lashes look hella long and it doesn't like transfer which is why I like it and it's been quite a while since I've liked a mascara. My last mascara I loved was the Benefit um, Bad Girl Bang so because I was getting a bit bored of the same mascara and hello, hi, NARS Climax is here just changing lives. We've also got these two products which is the concealer. I feel like I am very late to the bandwagon of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've got the pot concealer which is what I use all the time. I've been using that for months but this is more like of a recent thing that I've been loving and it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's not dead full coverage which is why I like it. You apply it and it's very like lightweight, thin, it feels like I'm not wearing concealer. Um, it's a beautiful colour. I've got it in the shade um, Custard. I mean, not thick, it's really lightweight, it's really creamy, it blends amazingly and yeah, again, I wish I knew about this sooner because I feel like I'm going to be stocking up on a lot more of these. If you haven't already and you need a high-end concealer, I really do recommend the NARS concealers because these are incredible. Love them. I've even got my mum onto them because I know she will love the formula of this because I'm not really a fan of thick cakey heavy concealers i prefer like concealers that give you coverage but doesn't give you the thick and cakiness this is the velvet matte lip pencil now i am used to be obsessed with lip pencils which is in the shade mysterious red now this is my my favorite go-to red lipstick i've been wearing red quite a lot this month and it's the only red that i've been wearing which says a lot because i'm a very fussy red person like i love certain tones of red but this is beautiful it's so creamy it stays on all day you don't need a lip liner because it's in a pencil anyway so you just pop it on absolutely freaking love it and I feel like I'm gonna need more shades of this formula because I've obviously got the red but I feel like I'm gonna need a nude in my collection because the velvet matte lip pencils are beautiful and they're just dead easy to use like they're not a lipstick you just pop it on and you go it stays on all day love 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 <laughs> then we have I can't believe I've put my makeup in my shoe then the last makeup product is this now this is the Huda Beauty Silk balm this came out about a month ago and i was so excited for huda to launch this because i'm obsessed with like lip balms and glosses and things like that it's just my style i always wear a uh, gloss or some kind of lip balm over the top of my nude lip liner now this is what i'm wearing right now it's just basically a really beautiful hydrating lip balm um, it looks like a lip gloss but it's not it's like a lip oil in a way it's like a hybrid of a lip gloss and a lip oil. It doesn't stick, like, you know when you do that and you talk, it doesn't give you them, like, disgusting, leapy bits. It's really smooth, really beautiful, makes your lips look really plump. It doesn't tingle, like, it's not a plumping lip balm. It gives you the... It's just really weird. Like, I think the gloss just makes your lips look beautiful. It's something that I've not stopped wearing. I wear this on no makeup days and obviously over the top of lipstick and I just flipping love it. Now talking of Huda Beauty, last month I spoke about the Wishful um, Exfoliator, like the pineapple scrub. Now this month she actually launched the Clean Genie Cleansing Balm. Now when I take my makeup off, I used to always use micellar water and I even sometimes use like the biodegradable simple makeup wipes. Then I go in with my cleanser. But Within the past month, or just over a month now, I have been obsessed with using this. Now, I've always wanted to try a cleansing balm, like this is incredible. So, here it is, you can see I've been literally obsessed with using it. All you do is, you scoop a bit off 
like from the top so you just scoop a small amount out of the top you pop it on to your face i'll pop it on with like the back of my nail and it honestly just melts your makeup off it doesn't irritate your skin it's super calming on your skin i use this to remove my eyeliner i wear eyeliner every single day winged liner when i wear makeup i wear liner and this ish is not easy to get off so this just a tiny bit like you just warm it up in the, on your fingers and then you rub it in you basically make yourself look like a panda your makeup just comes off straight away within one wash and then you go in with a cleanser so this is basically what you do to remove your makeup and it's got green tea extract in it's got mal malashati i don't know what that is and cherry blossom it's super calming on your skin my skin is very sensitive especially around my eyes and this doesn't affect my skin at all it helps my skin it just made them feel amazing and yeah it's been really nice to be able to take my makeup off the right way and know that my makeup is all off instead of using a wipe and a micellar water because i think i'm just basically um it's so much quicker doing it this way because it melts it off i'm not having to rub my eyes <laughs> but yeah this has been something i've been using all month to remove my makeup and it takes less than two minutes and it's so good for your skin now the next thing that i've been really enjoying is the grace and stella eye masks now it says it's like an energy drink for your eyes now basically it's a box of eye masks i think you get 25 in this box and this month i've had a bit of an like i don't know i think with stress <laughs> i think i've been a little bit stressed this month i'm not gonna lie it's been a bit of a rough one um and my eyes have been so puffy and irritated and i look woke up the other morning and my eye was so swollen underneath and just horrific and i had to go on a meeting like that so i was like oh my god what i'm meant to do so i basically got this in a boxy charm normally like i've used eye masks in the past and they're not normally this good but i used this one the other day and i left it on for 20 minutes under my eyes and i'm not even kidding you it actually helped my eyes like it made them feel so soothed not puffy it really deep puffed made them feel really hydrated it made my eyes feel more calm and just not irritated and i couldn't believe it like my eyes look so much better and i wouldn't normally i don't know i just don't normally believe in things like this but but yeah i couldn't believe once i'd taken these off after 20 minutes my eyes were just in such a better condition i don't know where you can get them from i'll try and link them in the description but wow these have been honestly probably one of my favorite products in the whole month like i can't believe it i'm gonna put one on tonight i'm obsessed with this brand now i've not really got like many hair things but the one thing that i've been absolutely loving is the ogx brazilian keratin smooth shampoo and conditioner i've just taken this out of my shower and it's hella sticky <laughs> but i've just grabbed the shampoo but i got this on offer not so long ago and i've been using it ever since i'm back onto my ogx fix whenever i'm in a bit of a doubt with shampoos and conditioners i always go back to ogx they are my favorite brand um and this has been something that i've been using all in lockdown and i've not like i can't get enough of it the smell of this is unreal it's like salon smell it is amazing it smells like quite musky very like me like vanilla muska musky like it smells like cocoa butter in a way it is amazing it's looked so smooth so soft so silky i love it and it's got avocado oil Avo avocado oil coconut oil carotin proteins and cocoa butter and it basically adds strength to soften your hair it smooths and it basically lets makes your hair super shiny so i just wanted to give this a huge shout out because this has been amazing and i'm definitely going to pick up another bottle because i feel like i'm i'm already i've used way over half of this already so i'm definitely going to be getting even more but yeah if you need a shampoo i really do recommend all of ojx's shampoos but in particular this one has got to be my favorite by far the last final thing of my monthly favorites has been these well the last physical thing now i have been obsessed with feelers for a good few years now and then recently i ended up buying a pair of adidas osvigos i think they're called they're such a cool brand like they're such a cool name but i don't know what 
or how to pronounce them. Now, these are the white ones. I've got white and black ones, and I've been wearing these all month. They remind me a little bit of, like, Balenciagas with the shape of them. These are super comfy. I wear them with a lot of my things, like jeans. I wear them with, like, band tees, oversized tees, literally everything. I have been loving, like, wearing these and styling these. I love these. Like, I really do. I feel like I definitely need to up my game in the trainer department and I feel like this is a really nice change to my normal like chunky feelers Um, I just like the shape of them I think they're really comfy and they're quite easy to style as well I obviously love the black as much as the white I've been wearing both as much as each other and they're just really cool I have been getting questions on my trainers recently and these are them right now love them i just think they're wicked and the last thing that i'm going to mention is a netflix series and the netflix series that i've been obsessed with this month has been at this sinner it's been something that i've been like watching more recently but i've been going on about it for ages and not being able to watch it and then within the like past week or two i've been hooked on the show it is so cool if you like crime it's not really like a crime it's like a um it's about a person and it's very like psychological um it is a bit like the typical i don't know like it's a bit like a bbc drama a bit like that but obviously make it netflix version it's an english show so it's not american it's so hooking hooking it's so addictive i absolutely love it each series has got it's about a certain person so and it's all like different links and twists and turns and each series is about a different person if you like crime like a uh, not really a thriller but if you like psychological crime murder investigation you will absolutely love this show definitely recommend watching it it's the sinner on netflix it's incredible 10 out of 10, absolutely love it, I'm hooked. It's nice to have something I can watch every night. And you guys know I'm obsessed with horror, thriller, crime, investigation, police. It's amazing and I love it. Can't believe I forgot this, but the last thing, the last physical product that I have been loving this month has been this gold necklace. Now this is from a company called Boutique Second Life on Instagram. They basically rework designer items and designer chains and things like that and I've got a Louis Vuitton padlock that was from then um, and I bought a chain to go with it so basically I can put my padlock on this and wear it or I can just wear it like this and it's basically two like clips that clip together and I just I'm obsessed with it I absolutely love how it looks I've been wearing it with like glam things but also wearing it in like a casual way with a jumper i think it looks really cool if you want to check them out on instagram I definitely recommend all of their products are 100 percent authentic they're legit you're not buying like a fake designer it's just reworked items off like the padlock would have been off a really old louis vuitton bag so it's really cool i love what they do and their chains are incredible amazing quality and i just love this one especially because it's so easy to get on as well because you basically do it from the front so it's so easy and i absolutely love styling it but yeah that's it for today's video i do hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up it really does mean a lot and it really does help my channel out and um, let me know what you've been loving in the month of july august i guess it's kind of august by now so definitely let me know what you've been loving within this past month and yeah, I'm going to love you guys and I'm going to leave you and I'll see you in the next one.